Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wolfenstein's A New Order on the Mysterious JG. I saw enough uh, of a video uh, playthrough, I didn't watch the whole thing, just enough to see that uh, you do just press against walls uh, to get into secret passageways, and there weren't any over here, so it's not that big a deal. The first one should be right past this door, and in fact, all the cool kids play the level like this. Although, I'm not cool, apparently. Because that actually caused me to do significantly worse, and I won't do that again. However, the first secret should be here. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Knowing exactly where all the rest of them are, I'll just keep my eyes out. The heavy ammo. Machine gun. Health. And health. So hopefully we'll continue to get ammo for this thing. I don't think there's any more secret passageways in here. Because this is like, I stopped watching the playthrough when the guy got to that room right there and just opened it by pushing on the wall and the square button came up rather than having to shoot. Don't hear anyone else stomping around. So that was more light ammo, not heavy ammo. Well, I do hear people stomping around now. Oh man, I shouldn't have picked both of those up. I lost track of what was going on. Let's uh, go back to a pistol, just in case we want to save the assault rifle for the end of the level. There's apparently secret exits, like warps to higher levels of Wolfenstein, but all they do is just take you out of the minigame. So, for those, I believe you actually... Once you're into a room which has secret, hidden, secret, secret, you uh, keep searching around in the hidden rooms and can find, like, oh, not only is there a hidden thingy here, but it goes further still into the hidden, hidden mysteries of hiddenness. And I'm just like, nah. Let's actually finish the level. to be aware of a uh, a Hitler portrait in a gray walled room. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You too. You seem to be killing me because I suck. Well, there went all the armor. Maybe I shouldn't be that concerned about saving uh, ammo for the uh, submachine gun. If it's going to cost me all the armor that I picked up in the secret room. But, uh, although I've had runs where I got this far and farther successfully before, uh, well, the, the armor didn't come from a secret room, actually. But, um, yeah, the machine gun taught me to get there, it did. So, yeah, I would just say that I'm. I'm thinking these, the treasures of the secret room will help a lot secret rooms. This would have been a great place to have the machine gun. Yeah, 
you know what? Let's use it till it runs out of ammo. Biggest problem, of course, is going to be the fact that when it runs out of ammo, uh, you always have that momentary panic of switching back and forth. Uh, so I'll just try to remember that the... Uh, there we are. We'll just try to remember that the uh, triangle button is your friend. Ah, heavy ammo. That's what I wanted to find. So if we look around in here, I'm thinking you might find a... Uh, Way to one of these secret rooms, I think, has uh, further secrets behind it, but that maybe is only in the original Castle Wolfenstein and wasn't brought over for this version. At any rate, I'm all souped up and ready for action now, so really don't have an excuse. Uh, could still blow this thing, but I really don't have a good excuse not to win with the help of. That guy's uh, machine gun goes straight through my armor to my health, or that I just, uh, more likely, I found no health pickups in those rooms. I really should have left one from a previous area. Wasteful with the bullets. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's uh, there's more than one direction to go in again. It's been a while since I've been a while. It's been a while since that was a real issue. I'll feel just a bit bad if we don't fully explore the place, but um. It is not to me obvious which of these two doors is the way to proceed. Which one will take you to just a side area of loots? I don't think they probably curl around, curve around on each other, though. What is a green drum? What is that? What does that mean? I don't understand why this room is here. That shadow started moving around. It got suspicious. Something was up. Oh, there's food. That's something. That would be a reason for the room to exist. Okay, so we've been there before. I'm no longer carefully checking every inch of every wall, but... This is probably it. I think that's it. Let's, uh... Hopefully I won't regret this later, but let's, uh, see what else is over here. I wasn't quite as close as I thought to being done, but, uh... Well, somebody can tell me in a previous video, did I get almost to there? I don't feel like I got really that that close. Okay, so... The machine gun makes a huge difference, but in fact, that's it. That's the, uh, the nightmare completed. The nightmare you can't wake up from. Rick Steiner, the dog-faced gremlin.
Rick Steiner, the dog faced gremlin, once cut a death promo where he said, I am the DFG. I am the nightmare you can't wake up from. You want some? Come get yourself some. They really cracked Bobo and myself up. But that would be it. And you don't get anything for completing it. It's just fun. I believe that stuff was already there. Uh, that's not unlocked by you winning that. But could be wrong. At any rate, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do that. And I wanted to do it on camera, so... Glad we got a chance to share that together. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, back to the moon. Uh, we got everything except the health upgrade, which, ironically, was... Oh, what am I talking about? I was gonna say we got everything except the health upgrade, the only thing that matters, but... When we did this Wyatt, we got everything, because you couldn't get a health upgrade, you could only get an armor upgrade. So, in fact, this is one of the few levels where I did a full clear as Wyatt. So, let's hope we can do the same thing here in the Fergus timeline. Because, uh, these chapters... Well... There's no more health pickups or armor pickups to be had. I'm Death Incarnate Uber! But can I play Daddy? And don't hurt me. All fun. Got the papers. Now what? Get the papers, get the papers. He's trying two times, two times. He's gonna get the papers, get the papers. If you've never seen uh, Goodfellas, uh, you know, stop this video right now and go watch Goodfellas, then come back. Matter of fact, you probably just want to stop this video right now and watch Goodfellas, don't bother coming back. Goodfellas, good movie. Welcome and bienvenue, welcome auf dem Mond. The Nazis sure do have a cheerful, friendly welcome thing. So you got guys working and uh, heavily armored troops. Yeah, you're kind of everywhere. He enjoys being a freaking weirdo. Uh, so concept art, characters. You got the space marines, space troopers, space commander, space drones, and space scientists. They work in six month shifts, up to a year before being given time off. It's kind of like when I was in Afghanistan, except we had R and R trips uh, to break it up, which um, they probably it's be pretty prohibitively expensive to get people up and down from the moon. I don't think they'd do it for uh, basic R and R, but excuse me, maybe they do. But yeah, no, you don't really want to put somebody in that kind of environment. You know, the moon or Afghanistan for uh, that long a stretch. You don't well, you don't want to isolate somebody from their own like culture and family and familiar surroundings. Is what I should say. If you were an Afghan citizen and you were assigned to work in America, you would probably need to leave within you know six months to a year. So we got vacuum closets. Uh, they don't seem to be for the. Um, Damund und Herren, though. This guy's trying to get some space soda. Germania, he could just shut the fuck up about Germania. Oh, sleepy. Well, why isn't Zigheil translated? What does Zigheil literally mean? I think it literally means victory hail, doesn't it? Zig, I thought, was victory. Uh, and Heil is hail. It's one of those things where th the literal translation doesn't really... You know, you literally translate the words of the phrase. They don't really carry the same meaning that the words coupled that way do in German. But yeah, it obviously was just the Nazi salute. There's a Abflugen Ankunft. 
So you got both of those going for you. Abflug, Ankunft. You hate to have just one or the other. We will be coming back this way much later. Uh, well, not much later. At the end of the chapter, I should say. But for now, yeah, we obviously don't have any Wapits, so we have to... I'm just like to reveal to you my personal feelings about your predecessor before you've said so much as a word. Just in case, you are not going to hold it against me. Yeah, sure. Okay, I've done it. Here's the orange gas that we enjoy so much here on the moon. I hope you'll like it too, sir. Yeah. He's a, he's the friendly chatty German. I uh, don't think we will be forced to kill him later. And it's weird. Uh, off screen, the first time I played this, I really did develop the sense of camaraderie with him. Yeah. Hey, good to meet you guys. Even though clearly, I mean, he's he's saying, "Oh, good, a veteran of the Great War. Uh, I'm one too. Nice to, you know, I see another veteran. Have a good day." But like, yeah, he's a veteran, but he's a fucking Nazi veteran. <laughs> so you know, veteran. I mean, you see, um, it was at the end of the Ken Burns Civil War documentary. Uh, like extremely aged, aged, I should say. Uh, no other way to do this than I know of. We have to do something that well, it's going to make us look a bit ridiculous. Hopefully these guys won't hold it against us. Well, they do actually make fun of you a bit. But, uh, yeah, the, um... Oh, you know, I did... No, maybe it's not over here. This was something else. This was the armor pickup. I don't think the health pickup is in the same place in this level. But, um... Yeah, you know, it, at the end of uh, the Civil War, like, many years after the Civil War, they, they, the Ken Burns documentary, famous Ken Burns documentary, which is actually quite good, shows uh, Confederate and uh, Union soldiers meeting uh, at, like, a famous Civil War battlefield and arranging themselves in rows and just shaking hands uh, after having been, you know, part of a bitter conflict and fighting against each other, you know, many, many years later, all extremely aged. I, I'm, I'm, I'm positive that there are no living world Civil War veterans now, but um, they met, they shook hands, and it was like this kind of symbol of how America had healed, more or less, since the days of the Civil War. You don't hear about that as much with uh, World War II vets. Though there have been cases of uh, guys flying back to Japan and uh, meeting people. Well, there's like a fairly famous case of an American uh, POW who was released at the end of the war, who went back to Japan and, as part of making peace with his own past, tried to find the Japanese prison commandant, uh, and the guy refused to acknowledge that he had been part of the war at all. It's, you know, kind of sad, I suppose, but... Yeah, it, I, I don't hear a whole lot about... Americans, British, and particularly not Russian veterans going back to, like, meeting German war veterans and be like, hey, man, you know, it was a crazy time back there in World War II, but we're all buddies now. Yeah, it kind of didn't happen. Finally, I can listen to my tunes. Do you read? So you can translate to the... You can transmit to the moon without the Nazis intercepting? Well... Wow. Motherfucking moon. Yeah. I love that though. I will clean it out with soap. Now, Blaskovich, the goal here is to steal the nuclear decryption keys located in the command module. In order to reach the command module, you have to find a spacesuit and walk there on foot across the lunar surface. Affirmative. I believe in you, William. He's not that worried about the moonwalk thing. Anyway, um, no, I just kind of got off on a tangent blathering there, but what 
struck me about that is, okay, A, I was just making fun of the fact that, oh, come on, they shouldn't be able to transmit to him on the moon. When I've been poo-pooing people in my own comments sections for pointing out the factual, or had the implausibilities of this game by saying, you know, hey, Nazi robot warriors in the, six, like, this game is set in, like, the 60s, isn't it? Maybe it's set in the 60s. Seven, and I think this game is set in the 60s, and it's like, yeah, the Germans have a moon base. Now I'm like, they shouldn't be able to, to radio the American guy on the Nazi moon base. It's like, okay, JG, <laughs> don't call other people out for this and then commit the same sin yourself. You've got to accept a lot, and you don't worry too much about plausibility in this game, because as much as I'm enjoying the game, and as much fun as the game is, they are throwing out the like Nazi moon base deal. So, you know. Don't take it all too, too seriously. Onwards and upwards. So I think this is where the health pickup was, or the armor pickup was. This is where the fish lives. So let's see. This is a Tesla grenade. So, not as much going on with it here. I'll have to keep an eye peeled as we go through the level. Um, I remember this. I don't know how much easier it'll be with all the power-ups and stuff, but I remember it felt to me like there was a big spike in difficulty uh, in this area. The uh, enemy soldiers are tough, and they're carrying a lot of firepower. At least in the first, like, big room full of them. Then things kind of settle down a bit, honestly. So, like the. Hey. Oh, that's right. There's a whole different set of uh, space weapons in this level. So, you're not really working with, like, regular. Ooh, is there another uh, Haupt model? Uh, I think we've seen that Haupt model before. So yeah, I got like a super space pistol. But it still seems to use uh, bullets instead of lasers or whatever. But it's silenced, which is kind of important. Okay, well that sucked. I was really hoping not to get detected, but those guys have too much armor. I would have to have killed them with a knife, I think. But now you've got battery ammo, because now we've got the marksman, which I can't Oh, I didn't know you could uh, press up to do a wheel. I can't do, um... And that veteran of the Great War is gone, by the way. So I don't... Unless you want to say he was one of the guys wandering around out here, you don't... If you like the idea that he's, like, chatty with you because it's just nice to meet a veteran instead of one of these young punks and that he would be okay with you not being a Nazi, then you can say we didn't have to kill him. So, ooh... Is that burns from the energy weapon that I shot him with, or is that, like... Well, you know what, you don't have to be in a spacesuit to be here. Anyway, yeah, um... I'm just kind of not thinking of intelligent things to say here. Uh, you can't actually do the, um... Well, there's this spacesuit that he wore to get yours, uh, space civvies. You can't actually do it in the marksman mode, like with bullets and stuff. Uh, it's only an energy weapon mode. And that might have to do with the fact that you're in space, and it's supposed to represent the fact that you'll be fighting in, like, zero-G environments later or whatever. I don't... Well, there's, I don't think there's zero-G combat, but... At any rate, 
we're about to enter a room that I had real trouble with in my off-screening, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, and it's tempting to go back and redo that because I blew all the ammo for the silenced gun. You know what? Let's let's actually yeah. Let's actually start over. Because um the silenced gun is going to be a big freaking deal as far as whittling down the numbers in this next area before you start fighting, guys. I've got a knife. You can uh, kill people with a knife. Uh and avoid detection, but there are going to be points where that's going to be quite a challenge. So We will redo this, and I'll endeavor to do better. Sorry, guys. I can also go back and get that Tesla grenade. Let's go ahead and get the Tesla grenade first. I think this uh, laser cannon we're using now, I think we're at the point now where it should be fully leveled by the time you get to this stage. Uh, if not, any any level ups, any, any cool shit that it can do that it shouldn't have been able to do, that I've been able to do with it all along. Oh, what was this about? This may or may not have helped us. Well, no, it got us detected. That's no good. They will use Tesla grenades against you a lot here. So, you know, be careful. I think if you blast that thing when you're right next to it, it blows you up. Because it releases gas that then gets set on fire by our laser weapons and stuff. Wow, I had a lot of opportunity to shoot him and I didn't really take any of it, did I? Yeah, you were the one who gave me all the trouble and wasted all my ammo on my stealth pistol. So screw you, man. Once this guy pops out, I can finish him. Recharge the laser at my leisure. The leisure of my laser. And uh, we'll be ready to take on this next room, which I'm a little worried about, but not, not really. Uh, you know, I'm not perfect at the game, as I keep saying, and I've obviously, um, I stand by excuse, uh, although it's bigger for strategy games than the action games, is that when you're trying to do commentary, it's actually, you'd be surprised if you've never LP'd before, how much trying to maintain, uh, commentary distracts you. But, what I'm trying to get at here is that I think we'll be okay in this next section. Even though it's quite possible to lose. This gun is, I believe, silenced by default. I don't seem to be able to switch modes. If it's not fi silenced, I'll find out shortly when I fail to kill people silently. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed the health pickup and the armor because I'm almost positive this door will seal behind me. This door is also going to count as a save point, which is why I wanted to pause and get stuff right uh, and save the pistol instead of just pressing on and trying to do all the stealth kills with the knife. But uh, either way, this video is over. So we had a nice little video there, folks. Finally, after several failed attempts sp scattered throughout the game, won the Wolfenstein minigame. If I was more of a super pro LP -er, I would have made sure I was capable of winning the Wolfenstein video game. Uh, sorry, the uh, Wolfenstein 3D, Escape from Castle Wolfenstein, whatever, Nightmare sub-game. I would have made sure I was actually able to win that before 
making several failed attempts, but I'm not super pro. I'm an enthusiastic amateur in the great tradition of British science. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, I'm also the Mysterious JG. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope you guys will tune in next time. We're closing in on the end of this game, and I'm hoping that um, people will be ready to jump right along, because by when I'm finished with this game, uh, Wolfenstein The New Blood will be out by that point. By the time I'm uh, done uploading these, certainly it'll be out. So I'm thinking I need to just uh, start playing that one blind, uh, so that you know anybody who's thinking, wow, he's good at these games, look how quickly he's gone through Wolfenstein. As unlikely as that is, we'll see how it's how it is. Um, just playing it blind. Thanks for watching again, folks, and uh, we'll see you next time with further adventures. Auf dem Mond.